was down at the Mornington Peninsula visiting Dramana, friends there, and the only thing I could think of doing in these horrible conditions was to do a bit of salmon fishing. When it gets really rough, what can happen is that the, the wind and uh, tough conditions blow the water around, stir it up, they stir the bait fish up a little bit, they push those around, and the big predators come in to get them. So I set up with all of my gear in my the boot of my car. I had to have the, uh, the boot propped up with a rod holder so that uh, it wouldn't slam shut and I had my camera in there so it wouldn't get wet. So I just uh, went through the process of setting up my rigs and one of them was a Paternoster rig and uh, I had ganged hooks with a pilchard on that. But when I first cast out I found that that was getting destroyed by smaller fish and crabs in the water. Anyway, it pays to have the heavier rod there because I was really targeting those bigger fish. As you can see from the pilchard I have there, it's, uh, it's got damaged by the smaller fish. The other rod that I had was a slightly smaller rod. I had a burly cage on that, and that was through to a size 6 hook. And that was the smaller rig I was using in case there was only small fish about. But it was pretty hard going when you would cast in your your line would be pushed heavily to the to the left it was just hard going but there were little bites happening but it was very very hard to see them happen because the rods were being blown around so much but anyway I persisted and there was a little bit of action happening that I got after a couple of hours fishing I caught a string of small salmon and Tommy Ruff but they were only really small and hardly even registered on the rod. Uh, the thing about it was that the wind at times was so bad you couldn't see the action on, your, on the rod tip so you didn't know you were getting bites. But not only that, these were only small fish so that there wasn't a lot of action that was coming from it. Anyway, after catching a number of these, I cast out at one point and while I wasn't focused, I got a very big hit. I hooked into a large salmon it came out of the water, it was shaking his head, it was doing everything right, but I only had it for about 10 seconds and it managed to throw the hook. It was pretty disappointing and after a while I just got too cold and wet to continue. So I decided to pack up, but on the way I found a couple of people who had been fishing overnight. This is Cal, he'd braved the conditions last night to, to fish and catch some nice salmon. As you can see here, the Paternoster rig that he has has got a small star sinker, as small as can hold bottom in these conditions. And then he's got a pilchard with two hooks and a half hitch around the tail to keep it nice and straight and looking natural. Then he showed me some of the fish that he had caught last night after braving the wind, the rain and the cold. These are beautiful salmon that he caught, Australian salmon, and look at the size of them. Some of these fish are nudging two kilos, so absolutely beautiful. It just shows you, if you're willing to go out in those tough conditions with the right bait, this is the quality of fish that you can catch in the morning to peninsula. Absolutely beautiful. There are other species about as well, like this Port Jackson shark.